They aren't all born rhetorical phenoms like myself. They aren't all born rhetorical titans. Anyways, um, because of school, I haven't been able to make many videos. So today I'm going to upload three whole times before I stop. So the first video I want to start off with is the paradox of tier fives, you know. And, you know, this is a quick guide as to, oh, not even a quick guide because, you know, sometimes certain tier fives, they just can't improve. So this is just going to explain how you enter the paradox of being a tier five and you remain there. You never escape. So to start off with the average tier five is just a, someone who doesn't know how to debate. Every single aspect of debating has been fundamentally lost to them. Usually what they do is they listen to people debate. They listen to people's arguments. They get a few scans, a few pieces of evidence, and they just start talking, right? Oh, in fact, take, um, take philosophy debating. There's a few people, they'll just walk around they listen to a few infinity debates and then they'll be like hmm I'm a high tier now and then immediately begin to start debating they haven't actually learned any of the fundamentals they don't actually know and I always tell people like send you this people like Mono this all of these idiots right all of them why you are never getting better so even though they continue to debate people maybe on some occasions they might even win because the person they're debating either a is way better than them and get stun locked by how bad of a debater they are or b right the other person that they're debating Debating also has less of an idea of how to debate than they do so they are able to come up with um, you know win even though usually those type of exchanges are usually the lowest level like of exchanges that you actually see in fact you can take the average argument that you do on a day-to-day -day basis the average argument you do with your mom is probably more substantive and it actually gets way more progression than the average tier 5 debate now let me explain to you why. So to start off with, the average tier 5 rhetoric is usually just, ha ha, you're a bitch, you're an idiot, you're a fool, ha ha, you can't track, you aren't tracking, oh my goodness, you aren't tracking, right? They continue to yell at each other, right? Every single other point you make, and this is a concept that has been sort of um, popularized by Gias. You can tell by the last three words in his name that he's just an idiot, right? But look, this is a strategy popularized by Gias. Any other sentence somebody says, so if somebody makes an argument, then they say the word and that is your cue to immediately start yelling the word shotgun now again do typically whenever people start yelling the word shotgun usually the reason why is not only do they just are they are unable to actually track any sort of words any sort of sentences past more than one line they're unable to actually track it so they just give up there and instead of actually letting the opponent fully flesh out the argument instead they just sort of cut it short so that they don't get beat down so again typically you notice that in tier 5 debates what they want to do is immediately somebody says the word and in their argument immediately someone just doesn't say only one word just start yelling that they're shotgunning you right and after you do that, then you have to respond by giving the most mediocre response ever. So, for example, take Mono. I like Mono. Mono's funny. I like Mono. He's someone good to hang around. Even though he hangs around weird people, he's a nice guy. You know, I can say, I can say with the all honesty, Mon Mono's a nice guy. He's a nice kid, right? Maybe I, I shouldn't be calling him a kid. He might be around my age, but he's a nice kid, right? But look, whenever Mono starts debating, typically he has this issue where one, he's never well read on the topic he's talking about. So take, for example, he thinks Luffy beats fiction. Now, all of the philosophy debaters, all of the like actual intelligent people who watch my channel will probably click off around this part. So again, he immediately will be like, oh my goodness, he's actually well read on One Piece, right? He isn't well read. He, he hasn't read any One Piece, right? So typically you'll notice that if he's actually debating somebody, and the person who he's debating has read One Piece, they actually, and let's say they debate One Piece and verse, you'll notice they immediately begin to beat down his argument. The second thing is, Mono, not only is he not well read on any of the topics he talks about, but also the fact that he just doesn't try and learn anything about debating. So take argumentation, for example. Mono does not have any sort of, uh, how do I explain this, argumentative virtues within his arguments. He has no sort of, um, things where you can say oh yeah this stands out about his arguments the way he structures his arguments in this instance is way better than uh and this other person or at least you could say that is something that he has that any of the other tier fives don't now the thing that distinguishes a tier four from a tier five aside from the fact that they actually know how to debate but it's also the fact that they have at least some form of like you know even if the argumentation is a five overall there's at least going to be one part of the argumentation right if they're able to drag it on 
down to that that specific topic that specific aspect then you will be like their yeah, rhetoric five argumentation five except for that specific aspect then there may be a six or a seven on a scale that's like a hundred right so again typically most tier fours have that they have that specific thing that they excel in right and then you look at the tier fives the tier fives they have nothing that they excel in in fact you say that everything there is like a two overall because not only do they not know how to debate but also they just don't know a lot so take on um, townway for example the way townway structures his arguments typically is going to be stuff that any sort of reputation you give he's immediately going to be able to find a scan that almost blatantly says what he thinks it's saying right and he's also going to have multiple other pieces of evidence that support the claim he's making right now typically the average tier five what they aren't going to do is they aren't going to have structured their arguments in that sort of manner instead the way they're going to structure their arguments is in such a way where eventually it's going to go down to an equal interpretation then you're going to start arguing about semantics he's going to start talking about how oh well the denotation the dictionary fits how i'm using the word and it doesn't fit how you're using the word so haha i win then even when questioned on something so basic as to why the dictionary usage or like the usage of words the definitions they give in the dictionary why that applies to fictional verses they immediately fold how how do you fold on something so basic so simple so trivial as that how do you actually just crumble in the face of such a weak defeater now again that's just why you can obviously tell that these sort of debates you can tell by their structure that neither these guys are well read neither these guys are intelligent and if they were intelligent you'd be able to know because they wouldn't be questioning why the definition or the dictionary definition of words actually applies to a fictional series like be serious you just need to, uh, those sorts of reputations you just need to ask them what do you think the dictionary is used for like do you think the dictionary is just used in such a way in which most people just don't use the words the same way people in the dictionary do that's stupid most people in the world typically they are using the words in this such a way where the dictionary uses it that's why whenever you're writing down words or you see a word in a book in english class right and then you're like i don't know what that means right you're advised to look in the dictionary so you're able to tell what the word means because obviously right the dictionary usage of the words is made and the reason why they have such like a large amount of definitions is because they go around and they see how people use the words generally they see the sort of intentions that people have whenever they use these words and then they determine how it's like um uh, that's how they just determine the definition now let's say the word that if there was such a drastic change in how people use the word that then the dictionary usage would change too it's not something very hard to understand right but again there's that so typically the average tier 5 debate structure is going to be very unstructured there's going to be loads of spugging there's not going to be very strong argumentation there right and the reason why tier 5 is such a paradox and i haven't really touched on this yet so the reason why there's a paradox of tier 5 is specifically because of the fact that what they'll do is they'll debate 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 right typically they'll start off trying to debate people who are really good so they'll lose and 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 lose right then eventually once they're going to win now you may say that they are only like um they are improving in fact through each debate now it it, it it depends really like are you debating because you don't want to make yourself look like an idiot and by your will your drive to not make yourself look like an idiot you're actually trying to improve your debate style then through all of those losses and losses and losses and losses then you'll notice that you're suddenly improving however take the average debater like send you the average debater like flames you'll notice they'll lose and lose and the reason why not only is it because they're they suck right they don't actually learn want to learn how to debate in the first place but also is the fact that they're debating people who are way too good for their skill level why am i seeing people like official right why am i seeing people like yeah especially people like official why am i seeing him trying to debate apollo like the guy barely knows how to debate he gets most of his knowledge off of chat gpt right so again you notice these people who keep you know lose 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 and win and that one win is the reason why they keep remaining in this sort of like um 
this sort of e eternal cycle of tier fives. Now, the reason why that win is so important is because if they kept losing, specifically, they would change their debate style if they always lost, right? So they never won once. Take it like some Zach Lee type type situation, right? So if they always lost, eventually their mind it will click to them. Oh, I should improve. However, because of the fact that they're debating people who are really good, and also the fact that they win and at least once and that one win will be against the tier 5 little random in some private server called Arcano Syndicate right you know because of those type of situations that one win makes them think that oh the reason why I'm losing isn't because I suck which it is instead the reason why I'm losing is because I'm debating people who are really good and no you can't blame their skill you can't blame their skill level on your performance I can debate somebody who's really good and still perform well because i at least know how to debate these guys not only are they debating people who are really good right which is you could say fair enough that's a decent excuse in a regular situation but also their performance is just so bad there's no real excuse for it right again these people are just completely confused. Like, I've seen... Oh my goodness. There's so much to go over. Like, these guys, they they always like debating people who are either below their skill level or just a, a way above it. There's no in between. So, again, these constant losses, they're losses and losses, right? Then, immediately, when they get that one win, it's like a fix. Now, liking this to a sort of drug addict, right? They notice every single time they ask for drugs, they get told, no, 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 no 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 right and then eventually there's going to be that one person drug addict number four who tells them yes and does give them the drugs and because of the fact that he tells them yes then that potential that possibility of getting what they want getting that win that they strive for it remains there constantly right that's the reason why if i go into for example juju's private server right and i'll see send you in fact let me check right now how much the average tier 5 has debated in there and now you can compare it how much they've ac averaged like the average tier 5 has debated in there compare that to how much they have improved and the actual answer is that just that they haven't improved they haven't gotten any sort of significant improvement and the reason why they haven't gotten any significant improvement is because there have no been any changes to their debate style look so i just checked the private server right and this senju guy who is a notorious tier 5 right he has debated 25 times in there he has not gotten any significant improvement then you can check this mono guy mono has debated 14 times in there keep in mind this server is supposed to be a lab server so it's supposed to be a server where people get better right however you notice these guys actually don't get better at all right and the reason why they don't get any better is because they aren't there's no aspect of their debate style that they are they're changing there's no you know room for change in their debate style instead what there is room for is continuous debating it's like what are you doing it's like if you're trying to hone your muscles you're trying to hone the skill of your sword right and instead of actually honing it properly instead what you do is specifically you go out and you start killing chickens killing chickens isn't going to hone your debate skill beating up or debating other tier fives isn't going to make you any better and most of the time they are bottom end of the tier fives right because they know even less of how to debate than the other tier fives do right so again, it's like kind of obvious why these guys are just stuck in an eternal cycle. And then sometimes you notice that after all these billions of losses, all of these millions of losses, and then after these, let's say, throughout their whole debate career, they now get only 10 wins, suddenly you notice they now think they are good right and that's where the paradox of the tier 5 it, it really it really begins to to show you know, its evil nature so now they think they're good so because they think they're good now they're going to ignore any sort of like um advice on how to improve right so then because they ignore any sort of advice on how to improve right then they don't care anymore improvement has become no to them and then in fact i'd even say that they reach the, the heights that nobody's re or them well not heights really they reach the depths that nobody even knows before they've, they've never known so they reach the depths of what we call a tier six debater now how one becomes a tier six debater is no they're basically a tier five right but also they just don't want to improve right 
So because of their lack of drive to actually improve, right? And also just their foolish, idiotic nature. They they end up in an eternal cycle. Like they end up in the cycle of hatred, but for debaters, where they just never escape their Lothian nature. And this is something, this is a plague to the community, right? And this is sort of also why the community is dying as well. So I'll touch on this in my other video that I'm going to make right after this. But this is sort of also a similar reason why the debate comment is dying as well right because there's so many tier fives and because you know most of these tier fives they don't have as strong of a will as official they don't have as much of a strong will as um as you know send you so most of the time whenever they notice that they're tier fives right typically they won't try and improve right so because they don't try and improve anymore right because they're like oh yeah no it's basically over for me which you know i don't blame them for thinking that because it is kind of basically over for them right but you know, like, what's it called? Because they don't have strong wills, then they eventually just give up. And because they give up, they just quit debating, right? And it's like, no, you didn't quit debating because it wasn't fun. You quit debating because you suck, right? But that's it for me. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And I know you like the video, so like and subscribe. This is me, Shinra, and I'm out.